were asked me about three days ago, the answer is yes. And I'm going to share with all of you why. And your answer should be the same as mine after you hear uh, what I have to say. So, some of you may know um, I'm on Facebook every now and then. <laughs> uh, sometimes for the better or the worse, I guess, but um, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm going to share something with all of you. Uh, three days ago, this hit me. August 15, 2019, at 12.36 p.m., I get a private message from this young lady right here whose name is Tia Thomas. Hey, this is how these typically go. Right? <laughs> hey, I'm not sure how to go about it, but I saw your post about the parks. I must have put a post up about the parks project. I'm super excited to see something getting done with them. As we are in town, I'd love to share an input with you and maybe it's something that can be done. I like to see maybe a swing put on for children in wheelchairs. I'm not sure if that's even possible. Maybe it's due to our situation with Sydney. But I've also seen quite a few children in wheelchairs recently that are out and about. And I just thought that would be amazing. Just a thought. At that time, Tia said, thank you for all you do for the community. Your second term is around the corner. Wink, wink. <laughs> My response, I promise this is going to get done. One thing that I know, being an elected official, you never promise something unless you know that it can get done. And I said, I agree. She said, thank you so much. I said, it will probably be year two of my second term if re-elected. Funding is currently being worked on. Okay, that's no problem, fingers crossed, for Sydney. Sydney will be walking, fingers crossed Sydney will be walking, but there are quite a few children that could benefit from it. And I think it would be amazing. 